Hey, I'm Stephen Hawes for Tom's Hardware, and today we are building this. This is the Marquee T, a t-shirt that displays information from the internet. I have mine streaming titles from the most recent Tom's Hardware articles, but you can make yours say whatever you want. Here are all the things you're going to need. The first step is connecting all the panels together. The panels we're gonna use are Adafruit 8x8 NeoPixel panels. These are awesome because there's already a ton of great software to do a lot of cool stuff with them. The first thing we're gonna do is solder all three of the panels together in series. Turn on your soldering iron, then lay them all face down flat next to each other on the table. Then solder a wire from the D out pin on the right panel to the D in pin on the middle panel. Go ahead and connect the five volt and ground pins together too. Now you can do the same thing for the center and then the left panels. You can use any wire to do this, but I prefer ribbon cable because it's really low profile and because all the wires are connected together, it keeps things really neat. All right, once you got those soldered up, it's time to connect your panel to the Arduino. The right panel should have a D in pin disconnected. Solder a wire from that pin to digital pin six on your Arduino. Then connect the remaining five volt and ground pins to five volt and ground pins on the Arduino. After you're done making these connections, it's a really good idea to add a little bit of hot glue for some strain relief. If the wires get jostled too much, they can pull a pad off, which is just bad news. Also, cool tip, if you lick your finger real quick, you can push down on the hot glue without burning yourself. And that's great because it makes it cool down faster and it also kind of pushes the hot glue in place to hold things better. All right, that's it for soldering. Now it's time to dive into the software. First thing, we're gonna flash the firmware to the Arduino. This is super easy, just open the Arduino IDE, download the sketch from the GitHub page, plug in your Arduino, and hit upload. Setting up the Raspberry Pi is a little bit more involved, but there's full instructions on how to do all the software for this project on the GitHub page. Also, I connected my Raspberry Pi to my phone's wireless hotspot so I can go anywhere with the t-shirt and not worry about keeping a Wi-Fi connection. When that's all set, connect your Raspberry Pi to your Arduino with whatever USB cable matches your Arduino. I used an Arduino Nano for mine, but you can use pretty much any Arduino you have laying around. Once you've got all your software installed, you can go ahead and plug everything in, turn it all on, and give it a test. All right, the last part of all of this is integrating all of these parts into a t-shirt. First thing, we're gonna take all the LED panels and mount them inside of the shirt so they shine through with a cool diffusion effect. The way I did this was by 3D printing a bracket that holds all the panels in place and then Velcroing it to the inside of the t-shirt. I printed this bracket on a Formlabs Form 2 3D printer, but if you also have an FDM printer, it should work out just fine. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can make something really similar that works just as well using some cardboard and an X-Acto knife. The bracket was really big and I couldn't fit it all on a Form 2 in one print, so I did it in two pieces and then used some resin to kind of bond the two halves together. And then I used some UV light to cure it, and which is actually making a chemical bond. It's bonding the polymers in the material together as opposed to just super glue. Then I gave it a sand and I had a complete bracket. Next, I mounted the LED panels inside the bracket using some VHB. VHB is a kind of foam tape made by 3M, and this stuff is awesome. It's insanely strong, and also because it's foam tape, it will like adhere to kind of weird surfaces and find crevices to fit into and grip. It's great. But if you don't have some VHB, some double-sided tape or some hot glue will work just fine. For mounting all the electronic components, I used a panel made out of black acrylic. I used a laser cutter to cut this out, but again, you can make something really similar to this just using some cardboard. Then I used VHB to attach the Raspberry Pi, the battery, and the Arduino all to the acrylic panel. Then I used some pre-cut Velcro strips to attach the LED bracket to the inside of the t-shirt, and then I did the same thing for the acrylic panel on the back. All right, you are all done. Time to throw that sucker on and spread your message. This has been Stephen Hawes for Tom's Hardware. Thanks for watching.